Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to design a dimensional data model, which is also referred to as the Ralph Campbell methodology for dimensional modeling. At the end of this tutorial, you will you'll be able to know the differences between dimensional data model, the differences between dimensions, facts, and fact tables. I will as well walk you through the whole dimensional design process in order to obtain a star schema. And we are going to do that based on a case study in the mining industry for a, for a good exploration project. I'll do my best to explain some of these terminologies, but I highly recommend that you watch my previous videos for detailed explanations. So what is a data model? It is a process of organizing data to be logically stored in a database. And dimensional data modeling is one of the techniques for data modeling. Dimensional data modeling is important because it ensures that quality and accurate data are stored within a database. It helps us to easily define relationships among tables using the primary and foreign key relationship. And lastly, it helps and provides optimized database for faster queries. Dimensional data model is a denormalization technique, whereby you have a fact table surrounded by multiple dimensions and constrained by primary and foreign keys. As you can see in the diagram, we have a fact table in the center and multiple dimensions surrounding this fact table. The arrows pointing from the dimensions to the fact table, you can think of them as the primary and foreign key relationships. And this diagram is often called the star schema. For a dimensional data model, there are some steps that we need to follow in order to come up with this design. And the first one will be for us to identify our business process, which is the operational activity that we are modeling. And here, our case study is going to tell us what operational activity we are going to measure, which is an exploration activity. Second, you need to declare your grain. The grain is the lowest level of information you want to capture within your data model or your database. The third is to identify your dimensions. Dimensions are the descriptive entities of the data model more like the who aspect. The who could be like a person you are collecting information about and the where location. So you have the, these descriptive entities and you need to identify them as your dimension tables. Next, you need to identify what are the numeric measurements that you, you are going to measure from the business process. And these are known as the fact. So in a dimensional model, you do not miss the numeric measurements with the descriptive attributes. You need to differentiate them. And the numeric measurements, you call them facts. And the descriptive entities, you call them dimensions. We need to create what we call a fact table. And a fact table should contain our fact, which is the numerical measurements and foreign keys of the associated dimensions because we want to link all the dimensions to the fact in order to obtain a star schema. If you have degenerate dimensions, you need to include them in your fact table as well as your audit information, which is the date time stamp. So guys, this is our case study for the exploration project and I've provided a copy of the case study below this video, so feel free to refer to it as you follow along. I will show you how to design the star schema from the conceptual level to the logical level on an Excel sheet. I'll be making a follow-up video in future um, and showing you how to design the physical model within SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so let's dive on to our SL sheet and start working on this case study. As I mentioned earlier, for a dimensional model, we need to identify our business process. 
so first I'm going to write down business process what is it going to be and we need to identify our grain which is the lowest level of information we want to capture in our model then next we're going to list all the dimensions and fact identify our fact table and list all our facts out we're going to obtain all this information by reading through the question and again the question is below this video so refer to it and follow along okay so as i mentioned earlier our business process is for um exploration drilling activity so i'm going to call this business process exploration drilling okay and the grain we are going to read through the question in order to obtain the grain and here the question says that budget is already in place to develop a database that will provide the number of holes drilled per concession a day this first sentence tells me that my grain is going to be holes drilled per employee per concession per day that's what i'm going to choose as my grain so holes drilled per employee per concession per day okay we're going to read through the questions again to identify what are our dimensions what are our descriptive entities so budget is already in place to develop a database that will provide the number of drill holes per concession per day. So I believe that drill hole is one of my, my dimensions and concession should also be a dimension and they should give me a date table or date dimension. All right. Moving on, it says that management will require reports that provides the total amount charged per drilling company per concession. Okay. Management wants to leverage the database to set target for each employee and to identify the potential drilling issues. I'll call this drilling issues. all right so how many dimensions do i have so far six all right so these are the dimensions that i can identify from the question however um there should be a location dimension because hey every concession needs to have a location all right moving on to the fact table what is our fact table well the question tells me that there should be one fact table which is um we are measuring the total amounts um, for the drilling project so the i'm going to call this fact table fact drilling activity or drilling operation fact okay okay and the measure is the total amount all right so we can call this one as the conceptual model and i'm going to go ahead to design a star schema using shapes so you can see the high level uh, representation of these entities and the relationship between them so watch me as i create these use these rectangles to represent my entities and my sorry my dimensions and my fact table and the relationship between them okay so i have seven dimensions okay it should be my fact i have less space here it's gonna work Okay, so I'm going to give this fact a different color and call it 
contract drilling activity and all of these dimensions will be linking to the fact table okay Okay, so this dimension is going to be called dimension drill hole. Okay, this is my dimension concession. Alright, so guys, this is my final product for my high level conceptual star schema, high level conceptual dimensional model. So my business process exploration drilling, um, the green, um, the dimensions that we listed, and the fact. And I represent all these dimensions surrounding the fact table constrained by high level um, relationship with, between the dimensions and the fact. Moving on, I'm going to design a logical model of the star schema. And at the logical model, you want to have your dimensions and your facts and which are the entities. You also want to um, identify your attributes, which will be the fields or the columns. And then the primary and foreign case needs to be identified at this stage. So I'm going to go on to a new spreadsheet and paste my dimensions and facts here. Here. I'm just gonna paste special and transpose. Okay, I'm just gonna paste my fact here. Okay, and just give it a little, a little bit of design. I like colors so I can differentiate between my facts and my fact table. Okay, so these are my entities, and I need to list my attributes. All of these entities need to have primary keys so i'll go ahead and do that for start drill hole id concession id date key so these are my ids for all the dimensions and the fact table and i'm going to just go ahead and list a few of the attributes for the drill hole i'm gonna have like a drill type and I'm gonna have let's say maximum depth of a drill. But we can also have first and last name as attributes for the employee. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and populate these tables as we move along. Okay, so moving on to our fact table, we realize that from the question we need to put what is the fact? And the question says that total amount is the numeric measurement. And that is our fact. A fact table should contain the numeric measurement and the primary case or the foreign case of all the associated dimensions. So the foreign case of all the associated dimensions, I'm just going to paste them here. Okay, it needs to have a degenerate dimension. If you have it, please list it. And time and date stamp. So we're gonna have just date stamp in our fact table. And then we are going to use shapes again to represent our star schema for this um, logical model. This is what I, I have as my final product for my logical model. As you can see, I have my fact table be, being surrounded by all these dimensions and the constraints which is primary key within each dimension being represented in the fact table as a foreign key and that is the relationship between my dimensions and my fact thank you guys so much for watching and 
a quick recap as I promised you at the beginning of this video. We know the importance of a dimensional data model. We know the differences between dimensions, fact and fact table. We have also walked through the whole dimensional design process to obtain a logical model star schema based on our case study. I highly recommend that you watch my previous videos for detailed explanations of some of the terminologies that were used here. I am going to follow up with another video of how to design a physical model within SQL Server Management Studio and that will be in my next video so stay tuned. I also intend to show you how to populate the date dimension in Excel so you can use it for your future date dimensions as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye bye.